Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to find lcm using while loop so guys the least common multiple or we also call it as lcm of two numbers is the smallest positive integer that is perfectly divisible by two given numbers so guys let's say for example the lcm of the two numbers that is 12 and 14 it will be equal to 84 now why so because if we see this number that is 12 when we multiply it by 7 we get 84 and then the other number that is 14 if we again multiply it by 6 we will get 84 so guys both these numbers needs to be multiplied by another number in order to get the same result which is the least common multiple of these two numbers and when we divide this number that is 84 by 12 and 84 by 14 the remainder must be zero in both the cases so guys such a number which is greater than or equal to the highest number out of these two numbers in such a way that when that number is divided by both the numbers the remainder must be zero and that is what we call it as the least common multiple so guys let us implement the python program in order to find the lcm of the two given numbers using the vs code over here now guys let's say we have the two numbers that is num1 it is equal to 12 and num2 it is equal to 14 so we are going to take the same example that we have just seen over here we will simply print this statement that is lcm of two numbers and then we will print both the numbers first number and the second number and then is and then the third number will be the result that is the lcm of both the numbers and then followed by dot format in order to print these numbers so we have num1 first and then we have num2 followed by compute lcm so guys this is the method that we are going to define which will take two parameters that is num1 and num2 respectively so guys over here what we will be doing is we will define this function that will help us in order to find the lcm of both these numbers so over here we have the def keyword followed by the name of the function and it is expecting two parameters that is number 1 and number 2 so we will take both these numbers in x and y variable over here and then we will define this function so what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to find the greater number out of these two numbers so we say if x is greater than y so over here we say x is greater than y then we simply have to assign the value of x to another variable so let's say we provide a variable name that is greater it is equal to x in this case and if x is not greater than y then probably y is greater than x so over here inside the else part we will say greater it is equal to y now guys when x is greater than y then greater will be x and if y is greater than or equal to x then y will be greater over here so when both the numbers are equal this condition will get satisfied and greater will be assigned the value of y in this case which is perfectly fine as per our logic now guys we have to check whether this greater number when we divide it by both the numbers that is x and y it should give us the remainder as 0 and if it is not giving the remainder as 0 we need to in increment the greater number by 1 so guys over here we will be using the while loop so over here inside the while loop the condition will be true always that means the control flow will every time come over here inside the while loop and we should have the break statement inside the while loop so that the control flow comes out of the while loop so over here what will be the break statement we are supposed to check whether this greater number so we say if greater and then we do percent x which means we are dividing the greater number by x and we are finding the remainder whether this remainder is equal to 0 and then again the same operation we have to do that is greater percent and this time we will be using the number that is y is it equal to 0 this time so guys basically whatever the greater number is it should be perfectly divisible by x and y over here in which case we will get the remainders as 0 and if this is the case that means lcm is equal to greater this time so over here we will have another variable that is lcm it is equal to greater so this greater number when divided by both that is x and y in such a way that the remainders is 0 in both the cases then that greater number becomes the lcm of these two numbers that is x and y and that is what we have assigned over here that is lcm is equal to greater and we have to come out of this while loop because we have successfully achieved our task that is to find the lcm of these two numbers so guys we come out of this while loop using the break statement now guys what if one of the condition 
कंडीशन इज नॉट सेटिस्फाइंग ओवर हियर और बोथ द कंडीशन इज नॉट सेटिस्फाइंग सो वी हैव टू इंक्रीमेंट द वैल्यू ऑफ ग्रेटर बाय वन ओवर हियर सो ग्रेटर इट इज इक्वल टू ग्रेटर प्लस वन इन दिस केस सो गाइज बेसिकली वी आर इंक्रीमेंटिंग द नंबर बाय वन एंड अगेन वी आर चेकिंग वेदर नाउ दिस नंबर दैट इज ग्रेटर इफ इट इज डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स एंड वाई वेदर द रिमाइंडर इज जीरो और नॉट एंड अल्टीमेटली वी विल फाइंड अ नंबर विच इज असाइन टू ग्रेटर इन सच अ वे दैट वेन इट इज डिवाइडेड बाय बोथ एक्स एंड वाई द रिमाइंडर विल बी जीरो एंड देन इन दैट केस द एल सी एम इज इक्वल टू ग्रेटर नाउ गैज आफ्टर दिस वाइल डू वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज सिंपली वी हैव टू रिटर्न दिस एल सी एम वैल्यू सो वी से रिटर्न एल सी एम एंड दैट नंबर विल बी डिस्प्लेड ओवर हियर इन सेट ऑफ दीज कर्ली ब्रेसेस एस दी थर्ड नंबर विच विल बी रिटर्न यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so as we can see lcm of two numbers that is 12 and 14 is 84 and that is what we were expecting over here 84 is the lcm of these two numbers now guys let's say we have the two numbers as 12 and 24 so what will be the lcm so in this case the greater number is 24 and when we multiply 12 by 2 we again get 24 and when we multiply 24 by 1 we again get 24 and lcm in this case should be 24 now so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as we can see lcm of two numbers 12 and 24 is 24 now guys what if both the numbers is same so when we say 24 24 as number 1 and number 2 let me just save this file now and try running this code so the lcm of two numbers 24 and 24 it is 24 again now guys what if the first number is 200 and second number is 100 so the lcm in this case should be 200 that's because when we multiply this 100 by 2 we again get 200 over here and 200 multiplied by 1 is again 200 so when we run this code once again we see lcm of two numbers 200 and 100 is 200 now guys what if the number 1 is 200 and second number is 150 what will be the LCM lcm in this case comment in the comment section below let us see whether your answer is correct or not so guys please make sure that you practice on your own so that you get the result of the lcm of these two numbers that is 200 and 150 so that you can comment in the comment section below make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to find lcm using the gcd so stay tuned